Good morning, traders. Markets on Monday opened uh, to the news of a surprise OPEC plus uh, oil output cut, seeing WTI oil gap over 5% at the open. Um, we saw a, a real whipsawing session in equities. The Dow did finish strongly, though, up over 300 points. It dramatically outperformed the NASDAQ uh, the most since October last year, with the tech heavy index finishing in the red by about a quarter of a percent. Uh, the Dow was helped along by outperformance of energy stocks. Um, with Dow component Chevron rallying over 4% on the OPEC news. Uh, well, a bit of market uncertainty saw investors rotate from the more risk-sensitive growth stocks listed on the NASDAQ. Uh, big news of the day, obviously, was the surprise oil output cuts from OPEC+. Plus. Um, they did announce on Sunday they'd be cutting daily production by more than 1 million, dollar, uh, 1 million barrels a day, uh, starting in May and running till the end of the year. Now, this sent WTI crude surging past $80 a barrel, hitting its uh, highest point since January and, and back to the highs of its 2023 tra trading range. Um, it also makes the Fed's job a bit harder as a spectre of higher oil prices will likely end in higher energy costs, which in turn fuels inflation, uh, which lead, could lead to a more hawkish Fed. So we, on that, we saw rate hike odds in the, for the May meeting increased to 56% from what 53% uh, previously. Um, gold pushed higher uh, on the dollar weakness, as, as well as being a safe haven, in, as the markets are a bit shaken by this OPEC news. It touched on 1990 US dollars an ounce before pulling back modestly. Um, in other FX, Euro US rallied up about 109 level, hit their resistance there around 109.30, uh, which has been holding it for the last week. The yen found some extra support uh, in a move lower in US 10 year treasury yields, uh, and it did rally despite a, a, some weak manufacturing figures out of Japan. Canadian dollar performed very strongly, obviously helped along by the, the surge in oil prices. The Aussie dollar outperformed ahead of today's RBA rate decision, hitting the highs just under 68 US cents uh, that were set back in March. Futures markets fully pricing in a pause today from the RBA, but there are a few economists uh, who are predicting another 25 basis point hike, uh, and, and a few people predicting a pause, but a very hawkish statement. So there could certainly be an upside surprise uh, come 2.30 p.m. Sydney time today.